just going to come to that, Richard, but just uh, one point on Anthony's uh, description of Istanbul. You know, I think a trivial information is, is, could be useful. Istanbul is the only capital city who has been the capital of three empires. I mean, I think that's it's a very old city. I think it's a beautiful city. I think that's, I think, some of the difficulties that you mentioned in terms of the landscape and so forth. And uh, <clears throat> and also, I think, to, to, with, with regard to Hermes, but I'm going to come to, to your point, Richard, but for me also to understand as a sort of a global institutional investor, what sort of yields and capital growth that a particular institution is looking for in a market like Turkey, let's say an office in, I don't know, a warehouse and in, in maybe residential and so forth, so that you know, then we can, as you know, the development space is completely dominated by local contractors, so then we can actually communicate with them in terms of their expectations, and uh, I think we can also play a role as an, as an agency. So if you could... Uh, well, in terms of, of expectations of, of the international investors, uh, when they look into country, they, they look at higher real yields. Um, unfortunately, as I said before, um, when we talk about offices, we're mainly concentrating on Istanbul. That's the prime focus. Ankara to a lesser degree, but I would say Istanbul is, 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 is a key driver. But um, the asking price is somewhere in the region of 6.5, 6 percent yield and the expectations of, of, of international investors is somewhere around 7.58 percent, not to say above. It's office um, space, is it? Of office space, okay. prime office space. <coughs> uh, we only talk about, we reference prime office space. Um, they, they also look into, into finding financialized product, uh, meaning one ownership throughout the whole building with a, a professional management service in place, which limits the offer which is available now. <laughs> On, on, on Istanbul, for example, you have only three or four buildings, Canyon, Tekfen, these are prime examples, and, and they do benefit from a, a very large acceptance from uh, the, uh, the, the demand side, the occupier side. But from an investment perspective, for Tekfen or for Canyon, there is no real need to sell, uh, because there are very wealthy uh, prime assets which are performing uh, very, with very, very, very good tenants. So for them to actually go to market, it would not be a opportunistic sale. It would be, I'm selling my best assets, so you need to pressure down the yield. So what the investor would be looking for is like a cash flow investment, saying this is a prime asset, I have no problem in my tenant mix, and then what I'm buying is just a return on my investment. But then, again, for an international uh, investor to come into Turkey, then they would look for higher returns. Does that fit with your experience on the, on the retail side, Helen? Well, more, more or less. I mean, um, if, if you look at, let's say, the yield expectations um, for, for Istanbul, again, prime shopping centers and prime high street, I mean, prime shopping centers around 7, 7.5%. And uh, prime high street, even even more expensive yields. Uh, we see that again, the demand expectations are very high. I mean, there is, for example, a, a very good shopping center in, uh, in in Istanbul called Istinye Park. Now, uh, indeed, the owner definitely doesn't have to sell it. And if you would like to buy it, I mean, it's the prime place. I think you will pay very very high yield. Uh, yes. I mean, because of course he is he, he is not in a hurry, and that's also, I mean, uh, for us an advantage, maybe for some also a disadvantage. In the, in, in the, in the post-crisis period, uh, there have been basically no distressed sales in the market. Mm -hmm. And of course, on the one hand, we see that there were very low number of deals anyway, so we don't have a sharp reference pictures, but also because there were no uh, distressed sales in the market, we haven't seen in the records the deep uh, yield depreciation like we have seen in, in, in Southern Europe and in other places on the map. So, um, and when we look at, let's say, the investor <coughs> interest, definitely up, let's say, the last one and a half, two years, mm -hmm. And the type of players uh, changing strongly already if we look at the region of origin. Uh, traditionally, when we also started, maybe also because we are you know, Dutch European company ourselves, uh, but dominant, predominantly European, now we see much more American uh, investors uh, looking around uh, from other <coughs> regions as well. And also, let's say, from the institutional funds, uh, more also in the, into the sphere of, of, of equity funds, etc. So we see on, 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 on more than one field, we see shifts. Okay. okay. Yeah, I mean, I think on the mix, Richard, I think back to your original question. Uh, first of all, <coughs> as an agency, real estate is one of the sectors that we, we promote. I mean, that's, uh, as I mentioned, some of the figures, I think it's an important part of the total FDI uh, uh, volume. Uh, but in terms of the mix of uh, investors, I mean, we've initially seen, uh, obviously, from Gulf, uh, a lot of interest. Uh, it's, it's still continuing. But these days, I think, especially after the investment uh, upgrade, 
uh, without naming names, we are getting inquiries from very large pension funds from uh, Canada and, and in the United States, looking into uh, not only Turkish real estate, obviously Turkish real estate is one of the, the assets that we're looking into, but other uh, sectors uh, uh, and longer term assets in the, within the economy. So I think, as I said, 2013, 2014 could be a very interesting year for Turkey, depending on what's happening globally, obviously. Uh, I mean, I think that's, uh, uh, and I was going to say actually, I, I called the, the guy who's done the transaction at Blackstone, unfortunately he's in Istanbul today, so he couldn't actually manage to come. But I think that's also something very important because Blackstone has been in Turkey, I think since 2008 or so, has, hasn't done any transaction. So they've done their first transaction last year, I think which is also, you know, a, a good sign for Turkish real estate market. So.